Good morning. Guess what today is? Today is September 12th of 2022, which means it is my six year surge anniversary. So I'm gonna do this video in two parts. I'm on my way to work. Um, I don't have a lot of time um, to video everything that I wanna say in this uh, anniversary uh, video. So I'm actually going to go to work and then come home and then film kind of what I've learned, things that I would have done different, um, things that I think have done amazing. Hopefully the video splices together because I did get a new phone, which is a um, iPhone 13 Pro Max. Um, so hopefully that all works. Um, I'm not sure if my phone is even gonna stay in the holder because the uh, pop socket thing or whatever in the back is kind of thick and so that makes it to uh, not fit in the holder the the whatever it is cell phone holder that I have in my uh, car <clears throat> so six years guys ah what a momentous occasion this is so first off I'll start with my stats um, I'm Dory I'm 50, I almost said 49, but I just turned 50 in July. Uh, so I am 50 years old. I'm five foot four inches tall. On September 12, 2016, I had vertical sleeve gastrectomy weight loss surgery. My highest reported uh, weight ever or recorded rate weight was 350 pounds. Uh, day of surgery, I was 300.5. The lowest I've seen is 156.3, and that was in December of 2019. Um, I would love to get to there again, but my body just kind of bounced back, and I was in the 160s for a very long time, maybe about a year and a half. Um, and then I was in the like 170 to 175 range for another year. Um, and then now I popped into the like 181 range, um, which isn't too bad considering um, I just actually came off of doing 20 weeks of exercise and building muscle at the gym. I did it for 20 weeks in a row. Uh, the only reason I stopped doing it is because now I started working. Um, I actually was rehired permanently at the preschool that I was at before, which um, is amazing. It's a godsend. I love it there. I love the people. I prayed very specifically about going back because I know on a previous video I had told you guys about what had happened and how it all went down and how I got let go. But thankfully, my prayers were answered and I started back on September 1st. And so that has been amazing. So I'm on my way there now. It is a preschool. We have kids from um, 3.6 all the way to 5. Uh, five of my six kids att attended this preschool and I just love it. I love what I do. I am a special needs paraprofessional and I work in um, our autism class. Um, probably the uh the the highest level of autism uh class that we have i am a para in there i have two other paras that are very um very skilled in what they do um one i worked with last year well both i really worked with last year this year though we have a brand new teacher she's only i think 25 years old she doesn't really have any experience but she's really laid back really fun just happy to work with us and just so happy that we all come with so much experience and so i'm really excited about that and so the four of us get along extremely well um so far i've been there one full week last week and then two the two days previous the first and second day the kids though however i had started there on september 1st but pre-k and k and our school district do not start um did not start school until um september 8th so we had a week there without the kids or you know like five days without the kids um, and so we did trainings and stuff and it was just great to get to know each other and kind of be laid back in that atmosphere. And, um, and so anyway, so it's been great. We have some kids that are very challenging. Some kids are very, 
uh, very easy and I think they will probably get acclimated into a um, inclusion class um, because they probably their IEP is outdated is what we're guessing but we love it um, yeah I can't say enough about it I'm really happy to be at work but it does come at the price of not being able to go to the gym at uh, 5 15 in the morning because I'm just getting up at 5 15 and having to bring my kiddos uh, get them up so they can get to the school bus um, very early in the morning. So anyways, I'm here at work. I will finish up this amazing video later. Okay guys, so I'm back. Uh, it is like uh, almost seven o'clock at night. So um, I'm excited. My six year surgery, as I said this morning on my way to work, um, is here. I'm super, super excited. Um, I feel like there are many things that I probably would um, do the same that I've done uh, with the exception of a couple. So I was thinking about this and I think when I got down to my lowest weight, I think I would have tried a little bit harder to stay at that um, weight for a, uh, you know, for a little while longer. But I also feel like um, I've learned so much with kind of getting up to where my body feels comfortable. So um, I feel like um, when I bounced up to like even the 170s and it came at a time where I realized I didn't have to fear carbs. So I didn't have to fear um, adding carbs into my daily routine. Um, every morning so far for the last week, I have had a bagel uh, before work. And I did that purposefully because I actually started work on the first and I was going into work without eating breakfast, which I was accustomed to. But because I'm running around so much with the kiddos, I decided that I needed something because before my lunch, which is at 1140, um, before I had lunch, I would get so, so tired, sluggish, but I was hungry, like really hungry. And I'll give you an example. So today was, this is gonna be a typical day for me. I'm trying to get my Fitbit to tell me how many steps I have, but for whatever reason, it doesn't want to tell me. I'm gonna guess, sorry. They no, it normally tells me how many, let's see if I take it off and see if it'll tell me. Um, but normally I have probably about, I don't know why it's not gonna come I guess it's time to get a new Fitbit. But anyways, I probably have about 15, 16,000 steps. I will finish a typical day about 18,000 steps, uh, maybe almost 19,000, which is about the equivalent of about seven miles. And so that is me running around the playground with the kids. It's with me um, going to uh, up and down the stairs, going to bring the kids to um, the bus, pick them up from the bus. The class that I'm in actually has an AM and a PM class. So I'm going to the bus in the morning, bringing them to the afternoon, picking the other ones up after lunch and then bringing them out after, um, you know, at the end of the day. And so from, you know, I wake up at 515, I put my Fitbit on right after I jump out of the shower, I wear it during the night. So I'm clocking almost 20,000 steps a day. Um, plus, you know, I'm I come home from work and then I have my second life, which is with the kids and running around and taking them places and cleaning and, and all of that. So I feel like um, I needed to have something substantial in the morning before going and embarking on all that exercise and all that running around. And so that's where the bagel has come in really handy. So I'll have a bagel. Um, I don't even log really anymore. Um, I'll put a little bit of butter on it and I usually put some uh, Philadelphia cream cheese and that's what I'll have every morning. Um, I'll have some water, then I'll head to work. And what I've been doing since I've been working is I've been meal prepping, which has been super, super, uh, just, just wonderful. Uh, I can't say enough about meal prepping, especially when you are working. But I went on Amazon and I bought these cute little, um, there's a big side and then two smaller sides. Um, it's like a bento box, but it's, you know, it's got a cover and it's just fantastic. And so I've been using that. Uh, and the first week I meal prepped and the large portion, I had made a bunch of um, like steakums. So I put, um, uh, let's see, I had red peppers and 
green peppers and um, and orange peppers and then I had onions and I finely diced them and I fried those up and then I added the meat and then when that was cooked I added some cheese on top and I think I used probably Munster cheese or, or something um, but anyway so I had that and I portioned that out and that lasted me for five days and so I had some in the bigger section and then I had um, oh squash I had summer squash and I put a little pat of butter on top and a little bit of salt and then what did I have in the other container oh um little sausage balls so basically it was just sausage patties like sweet sausage patties and I just made them into balls and cooked them so it was kind of like meatballs but it was sausage so I had those like four or five balls um so that was my meal and I'd have maybe I was hungry one day and I had a bag of the Quest uh, protein chips or a bag of planters um, cashews that are already in a, uh, you know, they're in uh, individual containers. Um, and so I had that for the first week. And then this week that we're in now, I have um, meatballs with sauce and Parmesan cheese. And then in my section for the vegetable, I have um, broccoli and cauliflower. And then I put two pieces of bacon that I had cooked with uh, Lakanto um, golden uh, brown sugar. And so I, I, you know, the way I make bacon, I'll let you guys know really quick. Um, I take a foil sheet, I put tin foil on it, I lay the bacon out, I put a little bit of, you know, the, the Lakanto green, uh, green um, brown sugar, the golden brown sugar. And then I preheat the oven to 400 and I put it into a cold oven. By the time it reaches like 389, I can actually shut the oven off, you know, after it's preheated because that's basically cooking the bacon. And then I wait five minutes and then I take it out of the oven and let it cool. And so I put two pieces of that in with uh, what I just mentioned and that's my meal prep for this week. Um, next week, I'm not sure what I'm going to do. I'm thinking of doing grilled um, skinless boneless chicken thighs and I think I'm going to make them a teriyaki flavor and I'm going to make up some um, chickpea pasta and I think I'm going to maybe put like a little bit of feta cheese, a little bit of sliced, um, um, what do you call it, tomatoes and maybe sun-dried tomatoes, sun-dried peppers, whatever, things like that. And so I'm going to make that and I think that's going to be my main dish. And then on the side, I'll do some kind of a vegetable. Um, I also did, uh, the first week I worked, I actually had some um, green beans, fresh steamed green beans. And so those were really good. Um, but that's basically what I have. I have that for lunch and then I come home. And if I'm really hungry, like I, I've really like, you know, done a lot of things, then I'll have another bagel um, and then I'll have dinner. So today I had, um, this morning I had a bagel with just butter, no cream cheese. Then I had the meal I just said, the the, um, the meatballs with the Parmesan cheese and the bacon um, and broccoli and cauliflower and a thing of crushed chips. Then I came home, I didn't have anything, but we went on uh, Monday nights, we go to the uh, base near our home and uh, the USO has a dinner every Monday night, a free dinner. So. My family goes there onto base with my husband and we have dinner together and tonight they had tacos. So I had two tacos, they were already made up. So it was just a little bit of meat and some um, lettuce and yeah, I think there was a little bit of cheese on top. So I had two of those and then they had a little bit of Mexican like mac and cheese and then they had corn and um, I think it was um, zucchini, um, kind of, I don't know, with peppers and stuff, that was really good. So I had that and then for dessert, they normally have a lot of more desserts, but tonight for some reason they didn't have a lot, but they had something that it was like apple, um, it looked like an apple crisp with, you could tell that there was um, um, oats on top. So it was like an apple crisp. Um, and so I had that and I put a little bit of Cool Whip on it, but what I didn't realize, and it was delicious, was actually it was not apple. Um, crisp or apple cobbler or whatever it was actually um, zucchini those zucchini they tasted just like apples it was the right amount of cinnamon and sugar and whatever but it tasted like apples and there's actually zucchini I couldn't believe it but um, but anyway so I had that for dessert I came home a little bit ago and I had a piece of um, chalk zero keto bark and I dipped it into the chalk zero um, cookie butter 
Um, and that's all I'm gonna have tonight. I, I am gonna have a four ounce glass of pink Moscato wine tonight while my husband and I are spending some time together and watching a movie. We're gonna watch um, Men of Honor, I believe it is. I think it's with Cuba, Cuba, uh, Cuba Gooding Jr. I believe, but we're going to watch that because my husband's been on night shift and so we haven't seen each other. And then he had drill weekend this weekend. So we have not seen each other. And with me working when he's off, like he was off today, we didn't see each other till I was out of work. So, um, so anyway, so we're going to have that. I'm going to have a little glass of wine. I'm going to get the kids to bed at seven 30 so they can be up. So, you know, nice and early in the morning. And, um, yeah, so that's kind of what, what I've been doing, uh, as far as food, um, I'm not really concentrating a lot on the food. Now I do have, as I mentioned in a previous video, I do have an upcoming um, doctor appointment in November for skin removal surgery. Uh, it is the last um, um, appointment until, uh, uh, you know, as I'm gonna, it's like a follow-up before booking the appointment. Um, because I now have a job, I was hoping to have it done by January, February. But because now I have a job and it's going to entail a lot of resting and recuperation, I think I'm going to push it off till June just so I don't mess up my job because I love my job and I really don't want to mess it up. So I think if I can wait until the end of the school year or at least, you know, the last two weeks of the school year, um, that, you know, that, that would be better for me because then I can recuperate during the um, summer and I don't have to worry about having to be at work or being up early and I can rest and you know the kids will be home so it'll be a lot easier and so that's what I'm, I'm, I'm hoping to be able to do. Um, so I am really excited to get the excess weight off my stomach area because it's just annoying. Um, let's just be honest. I mean it's annoying. Uh, I am trying to um, not eat as much and get back to eating slowly. I would really love to to lose 20 pounds. I think I'm probably, I'm going to guess I'm 182. I haven't weighed myself, but I'm going to, if I could give my, give a educated guess, I'm going to say I'm 182. Um, so I'd love to be able to lose 20 pounds. Um, will that happen before surgery? I don't know. Um, I'm going to try. I, you know, I am very physical. Um, I'm not just, you know, shoving ice cream down my throat and all of that, although I am having fun and I am um, eating some of the things that I think would be taboo in our community um, now that I am so far out. So, I mean, I'm really, really thrilled that, um, that I've gotten this far. I am thrilled on um, just kind of how I'm feeling about life and how I feel about food and I don't feel like it's an addiction and I have to have it. I just really, I eat really what I want. Um, there's not really any foods that I don't eat. I eat rice now if I want, if I want pasta, which I, I was never a really big pasta person anyways, but if I want a slice of pizza or two slices, I'll have it. Um, if I want a hot dog, I usually eat any of my bread or things like that are usually a keto type bread or roll with the exception, of course, uh, uh, for the bagels. Um, you know, I thought about, since I, I'm liking bagels so much, I did, um, I think it was the Great Bread Company or something, but anyways, they sell very low or no um, carb bagels, but I believe Aldi's might also have a no carb bagel, so I'm gonna check it out next time I'm there. Um, but in any event, I'm not. there's not really anything that's off limits. I have rice if I want it. Um, it's just I still have restriction. I still can only eat um, until I'm full, and then my nose starts running. That's how I know that I am at my limit. Um, what else? Um, I think probably, I don't know. I think I've done really, really well. I've come a long way. It probably took me the first year and a half, um, very bad, um, body image issues. So the first year and a half, I didn't feel like I lost anything. I still felt big. I still would shop in the wrong section of the store. Um, and then after the two year mark, I remember there was a shift in how I felt about things and how I felt about myself. 
Um, and then the three year mark, that was another really good time. I was just really living life. I really could tell I didn't really remember the old big me. Um, it was more that now, um, you know, the first year and a half, I think I really felt like um, at any point that person's going to come back. And then the two year mark, you know, she was more of a distant person. I didn't really remember it two and a half years, three years. By three year mark, I definitely don't remember. I don't remember being big. I don't remember, I mean, I see pictures, but I don't remember her anymore. I don't remember um, not being able to get on my own way and not being able to like put my arms down or stretch my arms out. Like, I don't remember any of that, but I do remember that it, it happened. There were times when, you know, I, I wasn't able to do the things that I, I needed to do, but in any event, um, now being six years out, I feel like, I don't know if I would necessarily change anything besides wanting to be the lowest um, weight and trying to fight a little bit harder to stay that low. Um, but I feel like I really have done an incredible job. I have lost, I mean, 350 pounds down to, even if I am 182, um, you know, I just feel like I have done an incredible job. So I don't really feel like I need to change anything. Um, you know, we all live and learn. We all have regrets. But really, are those regrets mistakes? Or is it just really what we should be and what we should do? So that's really it. The next journey for me is really to get the skin removal surgery, starting with my tummy first. Um, and then I'll see how it goes from there. Um, I am 50 years old. If I'm to get the surgery, I'll be almost 51. You know, how much more surgeries do I want to have? Um, you know, how many more things do I want to do? And so. In any event, that's my six-year surge anniversary wrapped up into this video. Um, I'm thrilled that you guys have stuck around with me, and I really hope that you will continue to stick around with me because without you guys and your support, I really don't know if I've come, I would have come this far. But I really enjoy documenting this, and I can't believe it's been six years. So all of you out there that are watching, and you're thinking, you know, I'm about to have surgery or I just had surgery or I'm contemplating sur surgery and it feels like it's forever till you get a date. It really isn't because in hindsight, I can't believe that six years have passed. Um, and it does go by like that. Life in general goes by so quick. Grab a hold of it, you guys, and don't let it get you down. Until next time.